good, beautiful Friday morning. I'm an inspirational tea sipper. This is Shantara. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys, because I know I definitely am. I just want to say God is able, 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 God is willing, God is able. And these times that we are living in right now, you have to just continue to just tell yourself God is able. He is able, he is willing, he is willing, he is able. He is able, he is willing, and he will come and rescue his children. I have faith. I believe. I have. I have made some videos um, prior to me being in a situation that I'm in right now, and um, you guys, you are looking at the newest teacher. You guys, I am now a teacher. I am at my new job. I am now a teacher at a child development center. Like, who would have ever thought? No credentials. Never been a teacher. Never taught. When I tell you this position literally came from God, so when he says he needs no validation from man, that's exactly what he means. And like I told her in my interview um, almost two weeks ago, I told her I don't have the experience. Like I'm, I'm, my season of caregiving is over. You know what I'm saying? My season of caregiving is over. And if I had to choose what I would be doing next, after taking care of people who couldn't take care of themselves, it would be to work with children. You know what I'm saying? And so if you are willing to take me under your wing and show me, I'll I'll take the classes, um, get the certificates, I'll do what's necessary, you know what I'm saying, to have this be my new career journey. And she said yes, and I took the courses over the last couple of weeks, did the training and all that stuff, you guys. And I started here on Wednesday on the 5th and I absolutely love my job like absolutely love my job y'all like absolutely I love caregiving too but it was just the season was over with you know what I'm saying and so I am just hopefully I am transparent enough to let you guys know that God is able he is able he is able <laughs> he is able and he is dependable and I just pray to God that you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Like, y'all, I'm a whole teacher in these streets. Like, for real. And like, since I've been working, I've been working with um, two-year-olds. So I don't know where they're going to put me because I kind of like been floating just to kind of see where I will be a best fit. I don't know if it's, I think the newborns already have a teacher, but I think it's going to be like maybe two-year-olds. There's a couple of teachers that's leaving. So, but y'all, I love my job. The kids love me. And it's so funny because, you know, I'm so tall. I'm like six foot, six feet one. And when they see me, they just, all day, they just be looking up. Whoa. Whoa. So, it's so funny because imagine being so tiny and little. And here I come, my big old self. I'm probably like, not probably, I look like a giant to these kids. But they absolutely love me, you guys. I love my boss. It's so many divine connections that's coming through this door. Like, mind-blowing. And check out my little teacher earrings, you guys. Once I knew I had the position, I'm going to tell you how the enemy work. I had to do the background check, right? And y'all know, I remember, I remember I did a story time about how we how we went to jail like 21 years ago back home. Um for uh, receiving stolen property, burglary to the second degree is what it was because uh, it was some stolen checks. Some stolen checks and first time ever in life being in trouble, but it was some stolen checks or whatever. And so I had received an email before it was time for me to start that said I wasn't allowed on campus. And then like my background came up and I'm like, but I know I went in front of a judge cause I knew I always wanted to do nursing and work in the caregiving field. So I knew I went in front of the judge and I had my record expunged and the judge dismissed my charges. Yes, they'll still come up, but the charges are dismissed. You know what I'm saying? And it said that I wasn't able to come on campus. And I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? They were like, you're not allowed on campus, but we're going to do the um, sexual part and make sure I'm not a sex offender and all that stuff within 20, 24 to 48 hours, right? So like, 
the next day and I was just like, oh my God, like my heart literally sank. And I'm gonna tell y'all why my heart sank because when I got ready to leave the other job, y'all, it's so much to tell y'all. Ah! And I gotta go to work. It's so much to tell y'all. When I got ready to leave the other job, y'all, she cut my hours. And then um, something happened with my check to where it wasn't quite the right hours. And then she ended up emailing me all this kind of stuff, telling me karma's going to get me. And, you know, the next time things go wrong in my life, just it's going to be because of what happened. Because I didn't finish my last three days like I said I was going to do. I didn't. After my check wasn't right and after we couldn't clock in on that last and something happened to where you know the pay period ended a little bit early and i'm just like you know what this is not the first time i had a chance of i had already had the job and i put in my two week notice but i had three more days left and i two more days left i had two more days left and i told her i wasn't finishing it and so she was mad and upset about it so she was like next time something go wrong in your life she had emailed me and the title of the email was called karma right and so I opened it up and I'm like, what? And she was like, the next time something go wrong in your life, you being mean and you being hateful and you being spiteful and this and that and the other. And you took no accountability. You take no accountability. You don't want to take accountability for doing what you said you would do and this and that and this and that and this and that. So when I got the email, let me tell you how the, the enemy worked. So when I got the email, I automatically thought like, oh my gosh, maybe she was right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, dang, I know I got a clean heart and a clean hands. I wasn't being hateful and spiteful or, you know. And um, I was like, oh my goodness, like I couldn't believe it. And then so like the next day after they said they was going to, you know, run my sexual uh, battery history to make sure I wasn't in the daddy bus and all that. Da, 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 da. So like 24 hours later, y'all, I ended up receiving another email that said, uh, approve, like uh, you are approved to go like uh, approval. I think it was said approval or something like that, but it was in bold black letters. Approval, you can enter the campus, like you are you can work there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, ah! And so, y'all, I've been here since Wednesday, and it has been absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love teaching the kids. I love assisting the kids. I just, I love it so much. And honestly, the last couple of days that I've been here, it's like, it's been giving me a lot more patience at home, too. You know what I'm saying? To dealing with TJ and dealing with the grandbaby. Like, I have a lot more patience. Like, I'm talking to them different and I'm just adapting, like, some of the stuff that I've been learning on my training courses and things like that and putting that inside of my home. You know what I'm saying? So, I know it's going to help me with Teriana as well. When she gets home, I cannot wait to see my baby, y'all. She sounds so good. They're adjusting her medication and all that stuff and like we can go visit her on sunday after we get out of church we're gonna go visit her oh i cannot wait to get my baby back home and so we're just gonna go from there but i just wanted to pop in and say happy friday you guys um i i do have so much going on in my life right now but i am believing god for the best i am believing that god is true to his word i am believing that god is gonna come through i'm believing that god is gonna keep his promises i'm believing that this is just a snippet of what he's doing for me and my family i still believe that he's gonna give us back everything that we've lost in this situation i still believe that god is a mind regulator i still believe you know what i'm saying i still believe i still believe that god is able god is able god is able and it's in due time god is moved by faith he wants to know if we trust him. He wants to know if we trust him. And the enemy comes so loud and so like a barbarian to come and kill, steal, and destroy, and to shake our faith and to have our faith waver. But God is moved by faith. He is moved by faith. He is moved by faith. And it has been a trying time for me. I have been wanting to give up. I have been wanting to throw in a towel. I cannot lie. I have been literally wanting to take myself out of this whole situation because it is really 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 a lot y'all it's it's a lot but i'll talk to you guys more and i've been praying about the videos that i recorded like prior to all of this build up i know my breakthrough y'all i'm on the brink a thief will never break into an empty house a thief will never break into an empty house there is royalty in me. There is purpose in me. There is so many things that God has given me over the years, what I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be ministering. And, you know, but it's a process. I got to continue to be seek healing and I got to continue to, you know what I'm saying? Be purified and sanctified in this whole situation. And God is sovereign. He is sovereign. He is the ultimate supreme ruler with all power. And my God, I trust you. 
my god i trust you y'all but looking from she and the one then when i got the job i went on diana showed me she was like oh my gosh i can't believe you a whole teacher like i'm like girl i can't believe it either so she went on she and she was showing me like all these little teacher earrings you guys and this one says friday aren't these just the cutest 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 and they were only like a dollar something so i'm gonna go in here and get my boss um I just appreciate them so much, you guys. And then here's some. There's crayons, apples, rainbows. It's so many different cute. Um, wait, let me put y'all up here real quick. Oh, let me go. It's 8:30. I gotta go clock in. Y'all, I'm just so excited. Oh, some scissors. I already showed y'all the rainbows. Look at these expo markers. So stinking cute. Red and black. Hurry up, y'all. Y'all gonna have me late. Hello, kindergarten. School counselor. Oh, I can get those to Miss Pam. And then, what else we got? What else we got? Love. Hello, first grade. Teacher, look at these. These little earrings with the little bucket with the ruler and pencils and paint brushes. And then look at these little pencil earrings. Oh, that's so cute, huh? Y'all, can y'all believe I'm a whole teacher in these streets? I am. I am. Let me go get in here, y'all, and enjoy my wonderful day because it's been great, y'all. I love the kids and the job is so easy to where I can just like focus more at home i'm going home when i would be leaving and coming home the next day so i am just so blessed and thankful and i'll work out everything else god will work out everything else as far as like appointments and all that stuff because it is a all day job it's 8 30 to 5 30 but god will work everything else out like whoo i am so grateful and i am so so thankful i absolutely love my job and um, you guys have a blessed day. We are still Psalms 23 for the rest of 23. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.